What's going on guys, Sanders here, today I'm going to be giving you a review of the newest Evermedia Sonic Blast Gaming Zone Bar. Let's get started. Andrew, I think mm -hmm. the speaker was too inside. Shit. There are two versions of the Sonic Blast Zone Bar, the GS331 and the GS333. Between them the only relevant difference is the power which on the GS331 is 40 watts and on the GS333 is 60 watts. Now let's take a look of what is inside of the box. Of course we are gonna get the Sonic Blast GS333 or 31 depending on which one you purchase, an RCA audio cable, a 3.5mm audio cable, one RCA to 3.5mm audio cable, a remote control or power adapter, and of course, our quick guide installation. The color of the sun bar for Taiwan and Japan is made blue, and for the rest of the world comes in black made color. Overall, the design is pretty simple. The body of the sun bar is made with high quality plastic. The front is covered with metal, protecting the four two inch active speakers, and at the right corner shows the Ibermedia logo. On the right side of the sun bar is located the side control panel. On the bottom it has two 3 inch subwoofers and in the back are four audio inputs. One line in, one auxiliary in, one for optical cable, one USB port and of course our DC power jack. The remote control has a rubber finish and allows you to control the volume, the bass, mute the soundbar, select the input source or one of the three different equalizer modes. It also allows you to change songs if you are listening to music from the USB port in the soundbar. On the middle front of the speakers, it has an LED that will let you know the status of the soundbar. Showing up yellow color for an optical mode, cyan for USB mode, solid blue for the Bluetooth, flashing on blue color for Bluetooth pairing mode, green for line in, white for auxiliary in, and red color to indicate the soundbar is off. The CS335 is a 70 watts wireless subwoofer that can be purchased in combo with the CS333 soundbar or separately. And it comes of course with the subwoofer itself, a power adapter and its quick guide installation. This subwoofer features a 6.5 inch active speaker driver on the bottom, a minimalistic design similar to the MacBook Pro from Apple. The Ibermedia logo on the top base uses a glossy finish that unfortunately welcomes fingerprints and it can be easy to scratch. In the back we will find the bass level, the pair button, the power button and the DC power jack. The GS335 can only pair with the GS331 and the GS333 soundbars. Pairing the device is so easy, all you have to do is press and hold the pair button on the GS335 and automatically the pair LED light will start flashing in blue. Then on your sound bar, you need to press and hold the source button for 3 seconds. The LED light of the subwoofer will turn on in solid blue. Once you're done, you are set up to start gaming using your Sonic Blast gaming sound bar. Having tested the speakers on all different modes, I can say that the audio can vary. For example, I don't really recommend using an inline cable since the audio is not too clean and the bass doesn't sound that great. The auxiliary audio cable is a little bit better, but the ones that I really like is the optical cable, the USB port and the Bluetooth connectivity. Because the bass is nice and powerful without losing the clarity of the mediums and highs. And talking of that, the Bluetooth connectivity of this sound bar can work with any device as long as it has a Bluetooth. So you can connect it with your tablet, your cell phone, your PC or your laptop without any problems. Pairing this is very simple, you just need to select the Bluetooth mode on the sound bar, which is the blue color as I mentioned before. The light of the sound bar will start to flash in blue color, which means you can detect it with your device. Once you detect it, you just need to pair it in your device and it will be set up. Now I need to mention that the Bluetooth connectivity may have a small lag depending on your device. That's why I don't really recommend this mode if you are editing video or audio. Overall, I really like this sound bar as they met most of my expectations. I love the fact that Ibermedia didn't make something too robotic this time, instead they come with a very clean design with this gaming soundbar. As always, multiple modes make it easy to use no matter what device do you have, and the audio quality can be excellent depending on your configuration. 
and all of this in a very affordable price. Now a quick message from our sponsors. Introducing the Project 7 L240 from Aerocool. This RGB cooler features a 240mm radiator and two RGB fans. Light up your PC with colors you want. Set your favorite effects through Aerocool's hub or through RGB-capable motherboards. For more info, check out the link below. And that's all for this video, my friends. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the newest Sonic Blast gaming sound bar from Aver Media. If you like the video, don't forget to support the channel by giving them that thumbs up, sharing the video, and subscribe. And that way you won't miss any of my future videos and content. And your good friend Fury Pixel, see you next time.